Good morning guys and welcome back to Australia again. So I'm going to be home for a few more weeks now but today I am reunited with some old travel mates. So we got Mark and Tristan. So I met these guys, oh, I met Mark last year and then we met up again in Indonesia. So last time we met was Jogjakarta. Jogjakarta. No it wasn't. Yeah. No, but, no it was the Bali Villa. The yeah, last time we met was in oh, last time. Yeah, 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 last yeah. time we met was <laughs> when we got a villa in Bali. Yeah. Um, but these guys are now doing a three-month road trip around Australia, and we plan to meet up. So this is Bribe Island. This is actually a, where I live. Um, as you can see, such a beautiful sunrise, and this is actually pretty normal for around here as well. But today, I'm going to show them around to what there's to do in my hometown, and we will have a good time. Let's do it. Alright, so this is my ride we've got today. Um, I don't know if you've seen one of my videos from last year, but my dad's mate owns a four drive business. So these are ex army Land Rovers. These are the toughest four drives you will ever find. And I did a trip all the way up to the tip of Queensland, but he was nice enough to lend, lend it to me and be sure to check it out too. This is no limits. I'll leave a link in the description, but we're going to head up the beach now and go full driving. First time, oh, shit, really full hard. driving on the beach. <laughs> See if you can do it. Oh, shit, no. Tristan. Here we go. Make sure the door's closed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off. So this is one of the best things I love about Australia though. Like majority of our beaches you get to drive on. And because Bribe is such a long beach, like it's just the whole coastline we're allowed to drive. Um, and just up there you can see a city. So that's Caloundra. So we can only go a little bit further from here. Um, and you can get like, you actually have to get permits to drive on the beach. So I'm pretty sure a one day permit for Bribe Island or majority of beaches is $14. And then you can get like a year permit as well. So that's 140. Uh, but you can also, down that way, you can camp on the beach. So it's like $7 a night to camp. But around this area, they got some old um, army war forts. So there's one there and then there's a couple more out there. these forts these are like the big guns they used to have here uh, this is one here this is another one apparently they weigh 35.6 tons how insane is that Go back into first. Okay. If you can find it. <laughs> oh. 
And it looks like Mark got us stuck. That's <laughs> we uh, Yeah. Well, we had to have one bog of the trip. <laughs> yeah. uh, you got us out of there, so. Nice. Alright, so this is Mark and Tristan's ride to have at the moment. So they got one of the hippie camper vans. So they said they're going to be doing a three month road trip. They began their trip in Perth, but then they flew over from Perth to Melbourne where they picked up this bad boy and they're going all the way from Melbourne up to the tip of Cairns. So be sure to check it out their channel as well. Um, they've got an Instagram account called Backpack Boys NL and they've also got a YouTube channel at Backpack Boys. So check them out. Woo! Alright, so these guys said they wanted a nice Australian meal, so I've taken them to Beefies. <laughs> Beefies is probably the best meat pie I've tried. What do you guys reckon? Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. It's, it's your first meat pie too, isn't it? Mm, mm. Yeah, we got a sample. The sample was great too, but... Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I picked some strawberry. Oh yeah, the strawberry farm. Yeah. Alright, so I actually live fairly close to the strawberry farm, so there's massive strawberry fields right behind me. And throughout the holidays, they have, you pay $10 and you get a big tray, and then you pay $20 and you can get an even bigger tray. So, we're gonna go pick our own strawberries. Let's get a feed, mate. Have you guys ever been strawberry picking before? No. No? no? Oh, cool. Not in the, no. So what do you have to look out for? Uh, strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just just the ones that look good. I think we need more. Yeah? <laughs> Can I have one? It's just, yeah. This is so heavy. Strawberries just like Mark with his B roll. It's so good. <laughs> Alright, here is a uh, huge supply of strawberries we just picked. That looks amazing. I reckon we got like five, six kilos of strawberries for 10 bucks. Bargain. Let's go eat them. 